Hello Grade 3, back again with Unit 1, Special Days. What is Special Days in Thai? Wan Pi Seb. So we're going to be looking at our Special Days unit. We are going today to look again at the seasons, the four seasons. Ordinal numbers. Can you remember? Ordinal numbers tell us where something is in a, in a line or a team or a group ordinal numbers do not count ordinal numbers do not tell us how many they tell us where 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 something is in a line in a group in a team in a list okay so we'll be looking at that and we will also be looking at the days not the days the months of the year months of the year and you are going to help me remember some of the months of the year you should know your days of the week and you should really know your months of the year they are a good thing to know if you are learning to speak english so we'll be looking at those we're also going to look at the student book and you're going to draw a picture and do some writing and we will look at the workbook so what you need today is your student book workbook a pencil always a pencil an eraser but i hope you don't need to use it and your headphones if you have them if you don't have them that's okay but if you have headphones please wear them okay that's it let's get on with today's lesson you can remember the seasons there are four they are in order. That means that I have put them starting with the first one and then followed by the next one that happens in the year. So one after the other, they follow in order of the time of the year that they happen. Can you remember them? Let's find out. OK, here's season number one. Season number one starts around March or April. There are new leaves on the trees. This is called blossom. The fruit is starting to grow, but it's still very small. And baby animals are being born. What is this season? Sometimes there is rain, warm rain. We call showers. What is this season? Can you remember? OK, three, two, one. Spring, it's spring. OK, here we see people at the beach and swimming in the sea. It looks very, very hot. The sun is out. And everyone is having fun, probably want to get an ice cream. What season comes after spring? Can you remember? Three, two, one. Summer. Oh, now all the leaves on the trees have turned yellow and brown and orange and red and gold, and they have fallen off the trees. They are now on the floor. It is getting cold. What season is this? The birds have flown away to go to hot countries. What season is this? Three, two, one. It's fall. And now after fall, it is very, very cold. There is snow on the ground. It's cold, but, but normally it's dry, not much rain. The trees have no leaves. Maybe you want to make a snowman. What do you think this season is? Three, two, one. It's winter. OK, did you get all four? Great. Let's look at the next part of the lesson. OK, very quickly, 
let's see if you can remember ordinal numbers. Now we're just going to look at four, but I want you to keep practicing all of them. A good way to do this is to get a calendar, maybe January or February, have a calendar. Maybe you have one at home in your kitchen and look at the days and practice the ordinal numbers for the days of the month. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, on and on and on. Practice. Just look at that calendar every day and practice the words in English. OK, here we are going to look at these four pictures and I am going to ask you where one of these things are in the group that they are in. So you are going to tell me where they are in the picture. Don't forget, we count from left to right, left to right. OK, picture number one. Where is the second jet? A jet is a fast plane. Where is the second jet? Picture number two. Where is the first dolphin? The first dolphin. These are dusky dolphins and they live around New Zealand. And I was very lucky to swim with these dolphins. All I can say is the water was very, very, very cold. <laughs> OK, picture number three. Soldiers. What are soldiers? Tahan, soldiers. Where is the tenth soldier in the line? Where is the tenth soldier in the line. And the last one, flowers. These are daisies. Where is the 15th flower in the line? Where is the 15th flower in the line? OK. Shall we check? See if you got it correct. Put your finger now, your finger, Put your finger on the second jet in picture number one. <gasps> Did you get it? OK, picture number two. Put your finger. Put your finger on the first dolphin in the picture. The first dolphin. Yeah. OK, put your finger on the tenth soldier. Can you put it on his on his head? on his face, the tenth soldier in the line. Oh, did you get it? And lastly, can you touch the 15th flower in this picture? The 15th flower. Put your finger on the 15th flower. Three, two, one. Yes. How did you do? Did you do OK? Great. Let's move on with the class. OK, while we're practicing things, let's look at the months of the year. Now, here are 12 months of the year, but five are missing. Number three, number six, number seven, number 10 and number 12. Can you tell me the names of these months? Should we try? OK, number three, what is the third month of the year in English? Can you say the name now? Can you remember? It begins with M, the letter M. Can you remember? Three, two, one. March, number three is March. April. May and now we get to the sixth month of the year. The sixth month of the year begins with J. Oh, but there are two months that begin with the letter J. What is the sixth month of the year? January, February, March, April, May. Three, two, one. June. The sixth month is June. OK, number seven. What is the seventh month 
of the year, the seventh month of the year. Also begins with a J. Can you remember? Can you say it? Three, two, one. July. The seventh month is July. August, September, and now the tenth month. The tenth month is when Halloween happens. And the tenth month is when my birthday is. Whee! So, what is the tenth month of the year? Begins with the letter O. Three, two, one. October. October. Okay, November and number 12, the 12th month of the year, Christmas, Christmas time, Christmas day. The 12th month of the year begins with D. Can you remember? Can you say it now? Okay, with me. Three, two, one. December. The 12th month of the year is December. Did you get that? Please, please practice these. Let's go over them one more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. OK, let's move on. OK, so now we're going to look at page 13 in your student book. You will need a pencil and an eraser, maybe. I hope not, but it's always good to have one. So what I want you to do is write the title of this exercise. You are going to draw your friend doing something on one of the special days. So an action from the special day that you want to put in this box. So number one, write the title here. The title is Favourite Day. OK. Draw your friend. Draw a picture of your friend in this box. I have drawn my friend, Billy, on Halloween. So I need to draw a picture with my pencil of Billy on Halloween. Here he is. And number three, write what they do on the special day here. So you need to write he or she, if it's a girl, he or she, if it's a boy, he, if it's a girl, she, he or she. And then the action, my action for Billy is wears, action with S because it's he, he wears a costume on Halloween. If you do Earth Day, then you say he plants trees on Earth Day. If it's Valentine's Day, then you say she makes cards on Valentine's Day. You choose the day, draw the picture, and then write the action that your friend is doing on the special day. When you have finished everything, you can colour the picture. OK, go, go, go. OK, did you take the five minutes to write the answers? Do you have your book in front of you now with the answers written in pencil? Let's check. Part A, workbook, page number five, answers. Number one. Now we know this is Halloween. If we look at the picture, follow the line, it's Halloween. But what is the action for Halloween? Can you remember? Did you write it down? It begins with W. Wear a costume. Number two. What's this? Yeah, the boy is open presence. The action is open presence. But what is the special day? Christmas Day. OK, number three. Now we know it's Thanksgiving. We follow the picture. But what is the boy doing? The action begins with E. Can you remember? 
There he is. What's the action? Eat turkey. And number four, here's our picture. The boy uh, has a card. The action is make cards. But what's the day? Yes, it's Valentine's Day. Did you get them? I think that was quite easy. Let's look at part B. OK, so here are the answers for part B on page number five. Have you finished them? Please finish them first. Don't cheat. Finish them first and then watch this and look at the answers. OK, number one. Number one has two questions and one answer. So read the answer first. My favourite day is Halloween. My favourite day is Halloween. Now the answer has my, Kong Chan, and favourite day. What's favourite? Chop Mac Ti Sut. So let's look at the two questions. Only one is correct. Question number one, what's your favourite day? Question has your. Hmm. Question has favourite. Question number two, what do you do on Halloween? What do you do? What do you do? Kun tam arai. Is this asking about favourite? No. So in the answer, we have my favourite day is. And in the two questions, only one is asking about a favourite day. Here, here it is. Your favourite day. Answer, my favourite day is. So the correct answer here is question number one. OK, part two. Again, we have two questions and one answer. We must read the answer first. Here it is. She opens presents. Now this answer is an action word. Action. What is the action? Open. She opens. Now let's read the questions. Number one, what's her favourite day? What's her favourite day? Favourite. Chop mac tea soot. What does she do? On Christmas Day. Ter tam arai. What does she do? Do tam. So we know that the answer has an action word, a doing word. So it must be the same in the question. What does she do? Ter tam arai. Ter bit kong kwan. She opens presents. So the answer must be Question number two. This one is not easy. OK, number three. Now we have two answers and one question. So we must read the question first. What's his favourite day? So we're asking about the boy and his favourite day. But if we look at the answers, both of them have his favourite day. Mm. What are we going to do? Now we must look at the picture. It's the earth and a tree. So we know that the answer is his favourite day is Earth Day, not Mother's Day. And number four. Two answers, one question. Read the question first. What does he do on Mother's Day? The two answers are action answers. He plants trees. He hugs his mum. Now you know that on Mother's Day, the action is hug. He hugs his mum. Did you get all of these correct? Number two, did you get number two correct? Number two is not easy. If you don't remember how to do this, Watch this video with me again. You can come back, play, 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 play. OK. I will see you in the next class. Please, please, please practice. And enjoy your time at home. And I will see you in the next class. OK, bye.